It is so frustrating to play someone who hits a heavy topspin ball. To me, it definitely is. But if you want to become that type of player that can hit high and heavy and get that ball to jump out of your opponent's strike zone just like I was doing and struggling back by the curtain, I'm going to show you how to do that. And there are three really key elements that can make that work. So the first element is the swing path. And what I mean by that is how you're actually coming up to the contact point to meet the ball. The biggest thing about creating topspin, and I'm gonna have Kevin do some shadow swings here, is that he comes from below the ball up to the contact point and then continues along that path to the finish. The more differential between the racket drop and the contact point, the heavier the ball is going to be. So if you wanted to hit a flat ball, you would actually come directly at the contact point or to the contact point. But to create this heavy topspin forehand that you really want, you got to have the differential between the racket drop and coming up to that contact point. So that's number one. Number two is acceleration. That means, can you do a few shadow swings where you're really accelerating? He's really coming from below the ball and accelerating from that unit turn. So he stops at the unit turn, then from there, everything accelerates from that all the way up through the finish. So the difference is, is that what a lot of people do is they'll stop the racket here, we call that a hitch, or they'll slow the racket down through contact, and that's where you're not getting the full benefit of accelerating, and you're never gonna be able to hit a heavy topspin ball. You need to, from the unit turn, accelerate all the way through, and then you start the deceleration after you make contact into the finish. Can you do a few more? So from there, accelerating as fast as he can within that controlled environment. Good. Now the third thing, and this is a really important one, and most people miss this concept, and it causes you a lot of trouble to be able to hit an easy, heavy topspin ball, and that is relaxation. If Kevin gets really tight, he could have a pretty good swing path and pretty good acceleration, but without relaxation, that third key element, can you do some where you would be really tight? Then you're not able to really get the acceleration that you're looking for because it actually works against you. So many times people are like, I'm gonna hit the ball harder and bigger and heavier and da 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 da, but then you, by locking down your body, you're not using your kinetic chain correctly, which that is what's going to help you to generate more power and more heaviness on the ball. And by locking down, then you're really tight and everything's working against you. So you have to make sure that you're nice and relaxed. One thing to be able to get the relaxation is, is your breathing. Breathing. You want to breathe out when you're hitting the ball. Can you practice breathing out really extreme? So you can not only see that he has the first part, which is a swing path, coming from below the ball up to the contact point. He also now has the acceleration as he's swinging through. And now he also has the relaxation. That breathing out as you're accelerating and swinging through the ball will help you to understand how your body needs to stay nice and calm and relaxed. And doing these in shadow swings is really, really important. Now I'm gonna show you three different drills that'll help you to really understand and feel how to get that heavy top spin on your forehand. First drill, we're really gonna work on the three elements and we're gonna start by being really close to the net. Kevin's gonna drop feed the ball and his goal is to do the same relaxed and same swing path that we talked about coming from below the ball as well as accelerating. You don't have to be 100% accelerating as fast as possible but controlled acceleration. And his goal is to get the ball to come up over the net and land inside the service line on the other side of the court. So if he were to not do the swing path that we talked about and come straight through the ball, can you show me what would happen? He would go 
the ball would go directly off his string straight forward. So remember, to get the ball to go up and over the net, you have to come from below the ball. And the more differential you have between your racket drop and the contact of the ball is how you get that height that you're looking for over the net, and you're gonna to create topspin. So if he were to do this really, really slow, the ball would probably just barely come off his strings. That's the acceleration factor that we're looking for. He has to be willing to accelerate to be able to make the ball come up and over the net. Now the third part, relaxation. If he were to clamp down and be really, really tight, the ball would probably go straight because he's not going to be able to really relax to let his arm come from below the ball to be able to get the swing path, acceleration, relaxation. You need all three key elements, even when you're this close to the net in this drill. So the goal again is for him to drop the ball and the contact point is going to be below the net and he's going to lift the ball up over and create that top spin. And that feel of brushing the ball is really what you kind of want to close your eyes and be able to feel that what it feels like to be able to brush the ball on your strings and create that topspin to come back down into the court on the other side inside the service line. Nice. Second drill, and this is the next progression that you would do after doing really close to the net, is come back to the service line, you do the same thing with the same three key elements in mind when you're doing this. So Kevin's gonna drop feed the ball and he's really looking to have the ball come up over the net and come back down inside the service line. That's how you know you're creating topspin. If you want to be able to get height and have margin over the net, but also remember topspin actually brings the ball back down into the court. It's really important to understand that. So that's how you see the pros hitting such big heavy balls is because they want to be able to bring the ball back down in the court and hit the ball with more power, but still keep the ball inside the lines. So with Kevin doing all three, he's doing the swing path from coming below and, and up to the contact point. And he's also accelerating probably a little faster from here than he was up there really close to the net. And he also is really relaxed so that he can use his body the most effective way. Those three key elements are really important to really get this heavy topspin ball. I'm practicing it from this this area of the court and being able to make sure it goes inside the service line is key for when you go back to the baseline. The third drill that's really important for you to work on is a hitting drill. And you need to be able to hit using this heavy topspin so that you can translate it into your next match and be able to really push your opponent back like I was in the beginning. I'm gonna head to the other side and you're gonna see the three key elements that we talked about. Swing path coming up to the contact point, acceleration, Kevin swinging fast, with a controlled pace through the ball and relaxation. He's not clamped up, he's not tight, he's really relaxed so that he can use his body efficiently. If you want us, the ET coaches, to help you with your forehand personally, go get Inside Academy. You can check it out for free right now at www.essentialtennisacademy.com.